uh, they would start joining gradually they would start joining yeah so uh, should we start uh, start then yeah 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 uh, no. yeah yeah so good afternoon all uh, dear participants uh, our second session the final session of the day is uh, going to be conducted by honorable dr sarang joshi sir a professor in uh, pict a prestigious pict pune institute of computer technology pune uh, he was board of uh, studies chairman for computer engineering in uh, uh, savitri bai phule pune university he was also a member of academic council for autonomous colleges has been a life member of ist to his credits there are two books written by him and published by prestigious prentis hall of india and cambridge university press he has written 20 papers and <clears throat> has been a reviewer for ieee journal also and the most important uh, introduction of him is a senior professor he is a senior professor in uh, uh, prestigious pune institute of computer technology and today uh, right now he is ready to deliver his expert lecture on uh, role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in uh, industry 4.0 so uh, i would request honorable professor uh, doshi sir to begin his lecture thank you sir yeah, thank you thank you good afternoon all good afternoon sir yeah yeah thank you so let me share the uh, slides is the slide visible yes sir it is visible yeah thank you so uh, uh, it's my pleasure to be here with uh, amongst you and uh, i extend my gratitude for inviting me and uh, dr garje principal of the polytechnic and uh, sapal kale sir so i appreciate your efforts that you have taken a good lead to conduct this industry forum under ai city atal program of faculty development so uh, i would like to begin uh, so there are two major aspects that i will be covering am i audible adequately yes yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah audible you. sir yeah, thank you so there are two major things uh, which are very important interacting the interacting machines you know this is one important aspect that will be uh, coming soon in o5 you will find interacting machines and uh, intelligence is by default will be the part of those machines but in o4 we are interfacing it with the artificial intelligence and machine learning okay and then next generation which is o5 which will be artificial intelligence and deep learned interactive machines okay so role of ai ml will further be extended by dl also okay so and that will be you can see visibly in o5 and some products of o5 which are tesla car automated cars okay uh, they are available so uh, i will be dividing this session into two parts first is uh, there are a lot of misconception regarding artificial intelligence and machine learning so i i would be reviewing first of all what is ai and what are prerequisites for ai okay and then we will be entering into one or two uh, simple very tiny uh, case studies of solving problem for uh, o4 and then uh, the 
business and need uh, business needs and of AI. Okay. So I have subdivided this into three major aspects. So uh, so everyone is ready. Then let us go to the first slide. So uh, historically, since AI is not something which is new, you know, it was available from 1950s. Okay. Only the hardware required okay, was not available in those days. So in those days, the uh, researchers assumed that the supercomputer concept will be useful. And uh, we can generate some AI component okay, because data storage. So not only data storage, access to the data okay, in efficient way. So there were the problems uh, were there. And now we have good amount of uh, cloud storage associated with access, portability of function, portability of data. Okay, so these are very important aspects uh, uh, which was necessary to apply industry 04. Okay, so the industry is not something now uh, constrained to some one boundary or some yard. It is grown. It is uh, some company may have number of offices, manufacturing plants worldwide. Okay, so everywhere the concept is worldwide. Okay, so heavy communication. Okay, and lot of uh, data transfer. Accuracy of data transfer is very important. So all these aspects are now thought of, and then uh, we are in uh, now we are we are in the beginning model of. Uh, concept of accuracy and uh, timely data, you know, two aspects. So the, there are few descriptions and definitions given here. So first of all, this word artificial intelligence, okay, in Europe or outside India. Okay, so I, I would like to differentiate something which is uh, a outside India and inside India because in inside India we have lot of ancient scripts which are referring to this intelligence, concept of intelligence. Okay. So uh, John McCarthy, okay, he first of all, uh, along with his research fellow, okay, Marvin Minsky and other Shannon, okay, in 1956, uh, gave this word that there, there, there can be concept of artificial intelligence. Then uh, he, uh, some of them started describing what the what what we mean AI. Okay, so first description okay that gave was given was every aspect of learning and other feature and other features of intelligence. So these features is very important aspect. So we will see uh, during this lecture. So. Uh, in principle can be precisely described. So this precise so precision, then there will be problems. Say for example, in car manufacturing plant, uh, heavy amount of welding is done. And on those precise spots, if are not identified, then welding will go at wrong place and then it will be discarding that particular module. Okay, so that will be a lot of questions. So when we want to have machines instead of a human being, okay, then we have to be precise. You know, exact is not possible. You know, there are two words, precise and exact. Exact is very difficult to achieve, but precision is possible. So somewhere in uh, with this discussion, I may come up with these two words. Okay, so the machine can be made to simulate that precision. Okay, and help provided to that machine. Okay, with the help of knowledge, we call it intelligence. Okay, so then that is called artificial intelligence. Now here are few more descriptions. So then it was uh, uh, when this statement came up, 
okay in those days then a lot of scientists and uh, mathematicians okay they they come up with their own uh, descriptions of i am purposefully saying description because definition has some uh, definition has set of words which cannot be changed okay so now we have set of words which are followed by a different person so we are using calling it as description so uh, second person rich okay so don't go hard problems okay so this hard word i will come down the later in polynomial time so again second term also i will come down later so uh, Okay, a computer engineer, and then up to mathematician. All mathematicians are by default. Or some number that come here, like that. So uh, hard problems in polynomial time. Okay, by exploring knowledge about the problem domain. So this is more description given by. Karut kya? Yeh ek door pass kare. Aaja dilo lo the karut pehle. Third one. Paisa bhar le ka? Thank you. Third one. Uh, is the study of mental faculties okay so then this ai stream the ai bubble went into medical faculty okay and they claim that it is a mental faculties okay where we can implement ai so now today we see the uh, knee surgery is uh, fully autonomous okay it, it is autonomously handled and um, of course some assistant of assistants of uh, expert surgeons is always uh, is always there okay so we are heading a, heading in towards uh, knee surgery then we are heading in towards heart surgery okay so different surgeries different uh, body testing uh, facilities all are getting automated and lot of so Uh, because of this automation we get faster results faster report uh, quality of report okay is maintained so this is um, uh, now the third one is uh, ai is machines with mind okay so they also called as scientific intelligence uh, synthetic sorry synthetic intelligence okay so machine with mind now this definition is still taking shape okay so we have a mind means um, uh, it's a tend to be infinite size uh, descriptions okay so when we want to answer something the way at which we think okay and then choose one answer and then we spell it out okay so that is where the thinking is okay but mind is something which is very vast uh, We, right now we don't know where where it ends okay so then in mathematics we have limit theory so limit which tends to be infinite okay and then uh, this definition is more suitable for the deep hmm? learning okay. and then our ancient script we have concept of gnyan to vidnyan okay so gnyan also defined a state of mind and vidnyan uh, defines the quantization method of quantization okay and experimental knowledge so uh, it's it's a method of quantization okay of a state of mind okay and then which is supported by uh, rules okay constraints okay leading to the application of karma okay so all these descriptions are also are available in our ancient scripts okay so this is in general what ai uh, ai is described by are different persons okay of uh, intelligence then now from philosophy let us come down to a few terms and tools okay that they are used in ai okay so then all all when the scientists and philosophers they started uh, talking about uh, concept of ai and then uh, started discussing what what can be ai and where ai can grow and in different universities they started taking up projects okay based on artificial intelligence okay so first one is gps okay general problem solver okay on human thought process so everybody is trying to associate with human thought process human thinking human mind okay 
so that if we able to simulate human mind then machines will be working according to the thinking of human being okay and that state will be the uh, state of art state okay and which is still yet to come and then we are industry and technology and then uh, research okay all are heading towards so one of the product is deep learning okay which is heading towards the human thought process okay if you look at machine learning then machine learning is incomplete human thought process okay but whereas deep learning is tend to be infinite thought process within the bounds of human problem and then there is ops5 okay is one more uh, cmu developed this particular system which is which they name expert system okay and very popular uh, the word became very popular okay uh, expert system and then um, uh, few more uh, toolbox you know first ai toolbox okay was called symbolic integration program okay and then based on this toolbox we have certain languages designed okay and first language okay was lisp lisp that is lisp program okay based on a predicate and predicate logic so uh, predicate is called predicator and then of course the prolog okay is a procedural programming so procedure is a step by step process okay so now when we want to take up some automation okay of a machine then which are the steps carried out by that machine so giving learning to those steps okay so that decisions can be handled so there are two aspects so there may be a machine so machine can be electro mechanical or electronics associated device okay main part is mechanical okay and then there can be pure computer machines there can be uh, electro mechanical devices okay of course supported by uh, necessary electronic hardware so understanding which step is first which step is next okay so then we call it more towards a procedural thinking okay so prolog is one such effort okay that is done and which results into truthness of some action because why we come down to truthness because if you take computer and all of you we have studied there are two bits zero and one and everything is in zero and one so that is true or false okay so anything that can be quantizable and leading towards truth truthness of a value then we can easily convert it into uh, ai based application so that is the, the basic theme of discussion and then people started developing find out that there are problems associated to time and data transfer so subdivision of work was the next era in computer engineering so divide and conquer came into picture so parallel which is parallel logic programming okay this is one important tool so this is tool summary which are very important tools that if anybody from any discipline you know computer engineering is a discipline which is uh, actually interface to all other disciplines okay so uh, anybody can uh, can be a computer engineer okay but uh, okay to become a mechanical engineer i need to do lot of study in mechanical engineering but all mechanical engineers can be computer engineers Okay. so paralogic uh, programming there is a parallel okay so these are certain important tools which were available now today this technology has changed drastically okay and tools like python uh, they are come up okay with sort lot of uh, frameworks okay so framework and library i would like to differentiate here okay so library is something which is a uh, bit smaller in size but when we talk about a framework then framework may have a lots of lots of and lots of functions maybe in the range of 10000 functions 20000 functions okay and variants of function then we call them a framework then you know stanford university also uh, took lead okay and they developed a planner program okay so stanford research institute planning system and then this is a short form for strips okay and then they call it also frame problem so uh, when you want to plan then we must have time frame associated with them or some sort of frame associated with them. 
so how to fit in efficiently different things okay in that frame is a frame problem okay so in mathematics we have knapsack problem okay and then uh, a sack is to be filled with uh, optimal value okay so then uh, so likewise so there are different problems so that can be uh, taken up okay under this particular category and then come that once we can subdivide the space and can have a concurrency associated with them then there are two or more independent units they can start functioning okay so in ai we don't use word function we use term agent okay so uh, i don't know how many of you are from uh, hardware uh, and how many of you are from computer engineering i am not aware of it now but see if a hardware engineer comes in computer engineering and then they want to refer to a memory then they will start saying that ram okay read only memory or rom this type of words but if it comes down to computer engineer uh, engineering and operating system like subject then instead of calling ram they will use word buffer okay so buffer is a memory okay some amount of memory in ram okay so we call it as a buffer so likewise we have different naming systems and naming structures okay so when multiple such small units subdivide means something which goes go become smaller and smaller and then at the end it can execute one task okay so then we say it is fully subdivided now if such subdivided task if they work collectively okay then we they, they can form a network okay so then we have a uh, system in our body also called neurons okay and then neurons is a is a network of so many small tiny elements medical elements okay or biomedical elements and then they keep on sensing the data and keep on feeding that data okay to the brain or to some expert devices okay so neural network is a method of subdividing okay the problem space so we have a problem to solve okay and then problem uh, whole cannot be solved today okay as a whole we need to subdivide that problem because if we want efficiency okay and if we subdivide then expert in that division can come into a picture look at our body so body is a network okay so now heart surgeon will not be useful for a knee surgery see the subdivision okay so heart surgeon will not be useful for a knee surgery or knee surgery will not be useful for a brain surgery okay so then we have different subdivided branches and then they generate generate a knowledge or expertise okay so instead of having a general surgeon who can do all then that person spends lot of time in training and learning but if we subdivide okay then amount of training and learning required reduces drastically and then person becomes available early for that particular skilled job so same concept is applied here okay and we call it as a neural network okay so subdivide the job into multiple small jobs okay and then group those uh, the results of those uh, small jobs together okay they are called subnet okay or layered organization okay or uh, uh, in a uh, body we call them uh, perceptrons okay and then in ai also we call it perceptron okay so perceptron in ai perceptron is a agent okay and say say for example we go to say rto uh and then we find that uh, in that office where is the window which will be, uh, allow me to submit the application i don't know okay so then there are so many agents and they are skilled enough you know they find out what is my problem where to go whom to meet what to the what document are required where to submit the document which signatures are required so then they hold certain knowledge okay and expertise okay so or intelligence okay and then that intelligence can be exploited so that my work can be uh, done speedily okay so such system is called neural network system okay is one of the important ai component then comes machine learning okay 
So machine learning assumes that we have a, a knowledge is made available to a machine. See the difference now. Okay, knowledge is made available to the machine in quantized manner in terms of data. Okay, and then uh, now say for example, I want to uh, solve something. Say for example, I am using value of a pi. Pi, you are aware of, right? So uh, now whether it is what precision after decimal point are necessary to perform certain computation precisely. Okay, then I have so many values of pi. So selecting appropriate, correct answer. Okay, that is called very important term called cognition. Okay, because all answers are correct. Okay, so no answer is wrong. Okay. So somebody may use 3.14 and will get that precision. I, I hope you are understanding what I'm trying to say. Any doubts, any difficulties? Okay. Uh, yeah. So these are called weights. Okay. So weights are adjusted. Okay. And then based on the weight, certain values are selected. Then we call it is a machine learning. Okay. And then intelligence is applied. So say, let us say, so machine learning has a base in probability theory. Okay. So if you take a probability, then we get a superset. Okay. So all answers, all, all possible event, event set, all possible events are noted. Okay. And then all possible means all truthness, all falseness, everything is collected together so that if they add together, then value is one. Okay. So now sample event is collected and then we go in probability theory by taking a risk. Okay. So that machine learning also does subdivision of problem space and answers. Okay. So all answers must be known. So this is very important constraint on uh, machine learning. Okay. And when you go to deep learning, then all answers need not know. You need to retrieve or create some answers. This is major difference between the two. So in O5, we are talking about uh, machine learning. Uh, O4, O5 goes with deep learning. Okay. So yeah, the probability I have already talked about. Okay, and then probabilities of uh, so in case of industry, industry uh, has lot of applications. For example, they want to reduce losses, they want to reduce uh, failure time, they want to reduce maintenance time, they want to, uh, uh, in business, they want to reduce current liabilities, okay, say for example, uh, salary of a person. So every week, every month, based on rules, we have to pay the salary. So can we reduce that current liabilities, okay, by automating the system? Then increase profits. Okay, how I can increase, say, for example, in mechanical engineering, when we say, for example, lathe is applied, then we generate a scrap, we generate a wastage. So, can this wastage be reduced by uh, applying certain method of uh, applying into the process? Okay, so increase profit, increase uh, productive productivity. Okay. So the amount, so machine will be faster, you know, they, they will not get tired. If you want to take about the human beings, then human beings, uh, they tend to relax. Okay. They require some free time. They, so uh, the product, it affects the productivity. So then uh, the second aspect is markets. Okay. So survey of markets, survey, survey of uh, giving offers. Okay. But recommending new offers. Um, then business, the new business solution, combination of offers. Okay, say for example, if you purchase some object A, then object B will be associated at 50% price or free of cost or this type of offers. So all these thinking, where thinking is required, okay, where novelty exists, where innovation exists, then AI is the candidate, okay, for uh, that particular situation. So there are certain prerequisites because at the end AI, uh, all, all machines are, they always induce intelligence, whether machine is mechanical machine, whether machine is 
uh, electronic machine or electrical machine they always exhibit intelligence okay but now this ai means human thinking is to be embedded in a machine okay so in, then i have seen somewhere in civil industry how they create the bricks okay um, of cement cement bricks okay and then then there is a person who keeps who uh, keeps the uh, concrete uh, type of concrete in a mold and then put give a hit to it and then he creates uh, two blocks or four bo blocks of con uh, concrete bricks and then put it for the next process okay so this person keeps it doing keep doing it repeatedly again and again again and again okay so this again and again processes can also be implemented uh, with the help of ai so major component comes into ai is programming you know re replacing human being is two part process one is mechanical assembly and second is uh, computer assembly okay and interface between computer and mechanical assembly is electrical ele electronics and necessary electric fields so there are few uh, important concept associated with uh, programming so i will just go to uh, concept so there is there are two important aspects okay one aspect is called coding okay so coding is collecting the type typing set of instructions okay in as per the rule okay as per the syntax where programming is thinking okay programming thinking is a paperwork okay so programming is paperwork where coding is use of certain technology okay so then we have a lot of misconceptions regarding uh, ai okay so uh, say for example if i know python and then python libraries for ai then i know ai okay so uh, this is a, um, a misconception this is something which is wrong ai is about thinking and converting thinking into practice that is done by technology so when you want to be say mechanical engineer want to develop ai based solution okay so then they have to think and apply it using technology so there are two aspect programming and coding okay in ai and then third important aspect that i have not listed here is uh, data sets okay unfortunately indians they lack in developing data sets okay which are necessary for indian environments and then they keep working with data sets which are available for foreign universities okay so when you want to automate when you want to go for uh, atmanirbhar bharat okay then where is our data sets okay this is very important aspect so when you want to develop any ai solution always think of data sets and that to those data sets for indian environments because indian environments are bit tricky bit different than uh, other other uh, other persons or other um, uh, individuals you know I, why i am talking about persons and individuals because it is about thinking okay so uh, then there there are two important terms deterministic and non deterministic okay these terms are related to time so whenever any program i want to complete okay and that i need to complete in polynomial time so now polynomial time is say ax square plus bx plus c is a simple polynomial equation and the amount of time taken by a computer to program it and make the convert into result okay by a formula method so we have you know middle term formula last term formula different formula so amount of time taken by this solving simple polynomial this is called deterministic time okay so anything that is solvable in deterministic time uh, usually don't have uh, any innovation associated with it but when you want to have a innovate something the innovation uh, requires thinking and when we think we require time the time which doesn't fit okay uh, in polynomial time then we we say that system is non deterministic in polynomial time so these are very important terms because when when you want to apply this ai to uh, industry you know industry for which is the topic of discussion then machine must be so machine must get a data which is already solved problem 
then that solution can be possible okay say for example uh, welding uh, again i am giving same example welding of a motor car at various places so now motor dimensions are fixed okay so those points where welding will occur will also fix and then certain sequence will be created okay which is most efficient sequence okay so that number of welding spots given in some amount of time okay that is optimal so that that is where this is called non deterministic sorry deterministic program but thinking about that optimal path of welding okay feeding that to a machine is Uh, solving problem which is otherwise non deterministic but now after human interference human intelligence it has become possible because human intelligence gave the path of welding that particular system in fastest possible way now np hard is very important term okay and then uh, in mathematics it is assumed data okay so uh, we if somebody want to compute that that data that value then it is not possible in deterministic time okay for example value of a pi okay or complete division of 1 by 3 so if we keep on dividing 1 by 3 then answer is 0.3333 which tend to be infinite we don't know where it will stop okay but when we want that answer in deterministic time then methodology develop is either cut off or round off okay so mathematics gave two tools okay of converting non deterministic problem solving solution problems into deterministic time another example tool uh, which is given by mathematicians is a scale you know our number scale which we use to draw lines and straight lines see we go so as per definition of a line we require two points okay and then we can use scale to draw remaining points okay but now if you look at computer or ai assisted machine then it will require all those points to be computed okay and then those will be plotted but now if we take uh, precision or the say for example i want to drill a hole or um, uh, i want to do some milling operation okay or i want to have a contour in uh, a certain operation like contour where curve is there okay so if that curve say typical body of a car for example today best example is body of a car or uh, uh, motorcycle um, uh, if you take then body of a motorcycle mainly the fuel tank of a motorcycle that is most attractive object okay that is that work in that case machine will take it will it will take lot of time but human human interference if uh, if it gives some data to this machines which are already computed data okay then machine will not compute but machine will assume that this is a data and then it will complete the work in fastest possible way this thinking okay is called making machine autonomous okay and in, in reducing human in interference in computing the data itself okay that is called deep learning so system is heading towards deep learning now okay so uh, again i come down to np hard problem say for example uh, gravitational field of earth okay so uh, there are some constants in uh, mathematics we have studied certain constants in physics we have studied certain constants so who how the person decided that this value should not change okay so memorize those value and use them rather than compute it online because if you decide to compute it online it will take in the time which may tend to infinite okay so then we can't solve problem in polynomial time okay so uh, such problems okay which, which are otherwise non deterministic in nature but by assuming memorizing values instead of computing online okay we can take solve certain problem which are otherwise non deterministic in deterministic time okay so these are very important terms and associated terms okay 
in computer engineering okay because ai comes into picture so that's why i have another description okay and uh, this description is uh, say whenever we say computer engineering or mathematics set theory then we call it that there exists a function y is equal to f of x where x is the input and y is the outcome of that particular function and that function must work in deterministic time okay have you understood so this is how so that if it, if it works in deterministic time then we can guarantee that after some time this machine will generate certain product okay but if machine is going to think and then if keep thinking infinitely then there is no guarantee that this particular machine will convert up, uh, convert raw material into product okay in deterministic time so this is very important thinking that we need to understand so in computer engineering terminology of nk hard okay it is the input size to a function which tend to be infinite okay so this is very important uh, variation because computer engineering always assume that there are at least two functions working okay whenever there is only one function working then we we don't call we, we don't call it as a computer engineering problem okay but when there are two functions working okay and then one function is generating data or producing the data and another function is consuming the data if that is the situation and then the producer function computes value infinitely okay say for example it is computing value of 1 by 3 now this trail of 1 by 3 or tail of 1 by 3 will never end so function which is which is to execute will never start because input will never stop coming okay so then such system okay which has input size non deterministic in time okay are called npart system in computer so when you when you want to implement ai solution in o4 okay it is very important that you should identify wherever input size is going to be non deterministic in time yeah so uh, then there is one more term called algorithm okay now algorithm is term is not used for any simple program which is sequential program or deterministic time program so any program which is computationally non deterministic okay but has a skill has a innovation once that innovation is applied it generates outcome in polynomial time okay then it is called algorithm then one more term is heuristic algorithm these are best known algorithm because there can be multiple solution which is the best solution okay uh, that is prepared for heuristic now for example now uh, that rohit sharma is a heuristic because we, uh, when we want to talk about indian openers then that rohit sharma is by default comes into picture okay so now i have talked about programming okay then uh, optimization okay is reduction of loops and conditions because see there are this is very interesting uh whenever we want to do computer programming we should try and reduce loops and conditions okay but then there are certain problems where loops and conditions are inherent part of their problem solving okay then such problems are called ai problems okay please understand why i have written this okay then amortize analysis you know uh, of in the worst case time complexity for deterministic system and then when we want to solve certain problem now i have already talked about this okay lot of conditions and loops exist okay and which are inherent which is important part of problem solving okay then such solutions are uh, based on intelligence and then based on ai yeah so then the how we can go with computer program uh, uh, for ai so first of all you need to divide the problem okay wherever if uh, condition or constraint comes then you subdivide that problem okay so when you want to design some o4 solution for say mechanical assembly okay then you need to first of all decide uh, the sequence and subdivide that work okay and then that work can be given 
to uh, a different uh, a machine learning based uh, products okay so there are two approaches rather more approaches but we are going to talk only two or three here okay first is ready readiness now readiness is locally optimal okay they talk about local things okay and then they do not memorize anything then the second is uh, memorization that is dynamic programming it memorizes now this is where the ai comes into picture okay? ai is a combination of greedy algorithms and uh, dynamic programming okay first of all when we, we want to implement for o4 when we want to go for o5 or deep learning then it talks about the backtracking strategies as well okay so you can apply corrections and then correct uh, correct value can be found out you know finding is a job of deep learning okay and then applying okay so this will be o5 but when you want to have settled path okay so then that will be o4 so we are talking about industry o4 right now so i have discussed this point okay and robotics is best example for robotics okay the uses greedy so we we may if you go to google and then you can uh, write down in google search that a uh, 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 robot with a volleyball volleyball thing and you will find that robot moving at certain space and certain speed and then throwing ball in a net okay uh, from different areas so this is all pre planned so planning is very necessary when you want to imp implement ai associated things now uh, this artificial intelligence okay this is very now important slide now we have taken survey of what is now np hard okay it's only one solution exists that is what mathematics says okay and it's a assumed solution okay now precision is very important aspect okay because when whenever something is exact then we can't change it that we can make certain correction in that particular exactness but when it's a precise then it tend to be exact okay so then we then there is a scope of improvement okay so then we when we we want to implement artificial intelligence okay then it depends upon so many answers and selecting one answer which is more precise okay so there are few terms associated with them okay they are called perception cognition action and goal okay there are four important terms okay so building a perception is the beginning of any o4 machine development okay say for example if i give a very simple example that there is a crowd on a road okay and then there is a uh, queue of vehicles and then we are standing in a queue of vehicles is he audible no sir hello no, no, sir it is not audible yeah sorry some connection problem i think yeah yeah so building a perception is extremely important when you want to develop any offer solution okay now in simple words perception perception is a collection of all correct answers okay uh, instead of using word correct i should say precise answers okay say for example uh, a bow and a arrow game okay in olympic 
and then if that player hits at the center then he gets 10 points okay if he if he so the way he goes away from the central position then the number of marks given are reduces okay so uh, likewise when you want to develop some solution using ai okay then um, uh, you have to that you means programmer okay a person who is doing design of a ai solution okay that person has to find out that's why i give example of a probability okay so probability is all possible events okay first of all so when you want to design some offer solution okay for any act to happen okay you have to first of all create all possible uh, solution set okay and so we call it a perception okay so it will create a perception so perception in in general collection of all possible events which are which will lead to the current action okay say for example i need to set a drill bit okay so then if i want to drill some some hole then i need to adjust my uh, coordinate 0 comma 0 okay then once i adjust my zero then at what point the drill should touch to a metal part okay that is known by uh, uh, ai machine okay and then uh, otherwise this is done by human being so we can understand we can create a mark on the body of a metal and then we can put that drill bit on it before operating and then we can uh, we can ascertain now it is taking precise position and then we start drilling it now all these acts which are done are to be automated then it's a application of ai and then ai will require all possible perceptions all possible correct answers of identifying the position where i need to drill okay so once so many positions then i need to select one okay out of so many so answers Good. exist okay selecting appropriate precise and effective answer that step is called uh, truth state of truthness okay and it's called cognize okay cognition okay and so searching amongst all so many solutions and then selecting correct one okay say for example going to a vegetable market okay then there may be a bucket full of say uh, carrots but then we don't take any carrot that uh, the um, uh, seller want to put in we inspect that carrot and then we put it in a uh, for weighing machine okay so we apply our own methods own like uh, liking so various things they form a perception and then all this feature liking color of a carrot weight of a carrot taste of a carrot so all these things collectively these are called features okay these these features will result into cognizing certain uh, uh, object or answer and then then we can then mechanical assembly can come into picture and perform the actions okay so actions is a set of procedure okay either done in sequential manner sequential manner means one after another or in concurrency okay that means there may be multiple uh, different machines okay operating at different uh, locations so that we can save the time okay so uh, for example uh, stitching of a uh, some uh, shirt okay so now if we find that uh, hand see it's a full shirt say for example then full sleeves shirt then this stitching of that sleeves can be done parallelly left left sleeve and right sleeve so i can deploy two machines okay but size of left hand and size of right hand we require to take dimensions so both answers so have you understood how i am generating a procedure a perception so perception is selecting one precise dimension for my left hand and selecting one precise dimension for my right hand both are different thing okay and then applying swing machine which is a mechanical electromechanical or electronic control assembly and then which will go through that stitching so stitching is a process of giving data okay in certain sequence and then we achieve a final goal so when we want to design <coughs> any o4 machine okay industry o4 machine okay 
then we need to first of all start with thinking thinking should get converted into quantization of uh, subdividing the problem once the problem is subdivided then finding out all possible answers for those problem okay now all possible answers for that subdivided problem will form a perception now selecting one no, no, no. okay so that cognition can be possible and results can be obtained so this is very important step in uh, converting any process to autonomous process okay so typically i have seen so many um, um, uh, mechanical students they are develop developing automobiles okay and now electrical automobiles and now the robotic automobiles okay they may try to develop then they need to develop perception most important part okay and perception is not regarding uh, the path but it is regarding say if there is a motor which drives the wheel of a car then by how much degree it should move okay and then how many such uh, degrees collectively it should move so that certain uh, intermediate results can be obtained yeah so um, uh, now how to subdivide you know this is very big question because everywhere we apply uh, human mind okay and then in engineering it is very necessary to apply mathematics okay uh, uh, not only the human mind but human mind must be assisted with the mathematics okay this is very important step and then if it is forgotten then this program is mind driven program okay and then human mind makes lot of mistakes because human mind at a time thinks at uh, think keep thinking various various aspects of life okay. so somebody may be solving paper in examination but may be thinking while solving answer that what uh, what that he or she will be doing in the evening and or if this answer goes wrong then what will happen to the percentage score and so many things so human mind is very complex thing okay and then it may make mistakes when it is performing very uh, important task okay so mathematics allows us to uh, uh, design develop system okay which usually are reliable in nature okay so now here here it is when we want to subdivide okay then we uh, derivatives is one important way and then we want to integrate solution then integration is one of the important mathematics tool so when we want to relate input and output and when we want to subdivide the word subdivide means how i can subdivide the task okay interdependent task okay and then form form them a logical unit which can be solvable so now last if you go to uh, I, i i hope that my slides are visible uh, can somebody tell me the title of the slide yes sir learning to become intelligent yeah yeah thank you thank you okay so when you want to solve any problem using ai okay and when you want to build a good quality perception okay then quality division okay is necessary so when i want dy by dx and then now i understand that u and v are two intermediate factors okay and then i can establish a dy by du into du by dx then i should divide that okay now dy by du will be solved du by dx will be solved and then whatever uh, integration or whatever uh, answer we will get and the what to do with answer that can be thought of so this is very uh, why, why we are discussing all these things here has to give solution you know it is not a point that will be given and we get an answer so there are different methods of learning once you want to subdivide okay so we want to divide then division is there is done on certain basis okay and the basis are called features learning or ai okay so there are different types of ways we can solve problem uh, and learn problem okay so first technique is supervisory learning okay so the how to learn how machine can learn okay one of important technique is called supervisory learning now just see how uh, it is stated acha lagta hai ki satla 
when y is equal to f of x is a function, okay, say when it is supervisory, please understand. Input and output are known. This is very important. Input and output are known. And function is to be selected. Okay. Function is to be selected. Okay. Then this is called supervisory learning. Now, I, if I want to give a very simple example, somebody gives me a table. You get this type of games. Say there are two columns. Say first column is A and other column is Y. And then X holds value. Uh, two, four, say one, two, three, for example, X holds value one, two, three. And then second Y holds a value uh, one, four, nine. Have you understood? Now, what is the learning out of that? Learning is that number uh, outcome is a square of a number. That is the, so see how I'm learning now. Okay. So first column is one, two, three, that is X. Second column is one four nine. Now what I, what I need to do is establish relation between input and output, and select appropriate function for computation. Okay. When we perform this type of activity, then we call it a supervisory learning activity. There are so many supervisory learning techniques. Okay, I have mentioned one here. Uh, that is inductive learning. Okay. So uh, input output are uh, input output are known, but function is unknown. Okay. So selection of function. So when when uh, say for example a wheel is to be rotated, so rotation is a function. Okay. But when how we want to rotate forward or backward? Okay. Whether motor should go ahead or motor should take a reverse gear. Sir, operator. Will be decided by different functions. So my perception is collection of all such uh, functions which allow my motor to uh, step ahead or step backward. Okay. Then whether it should rotate uh, in, in addition to forward movement, whether it takes some angle, angular movement. Okay. Then again, I need to have a set of functions. So when, when I have that input and output, okay, then I realize what is the intelligence generated that motion is not angular, but forward motion or backward motion. Then I have plus function and minus function. So I, since I have subdivided, I will rotate by certain degree. So now there's a concept of stepper motor, okay, in electronics. And then it, it takes a step of 1.8 degree or 0.9 degree. So any one step, then 0.9 degrees, it is rotated, okay. Now, if you want that it should take one rotation complete, okay, then it, it should go to 360 degrees. So how many rotations will be required is a computation of a function. So input is 360, okay, and uh, one degree um, uh, is 1 1.8. So, 1 point, uh, so 360 divided by 1, 1.8, this many times it should rotate so that but so this many times it should take steps so that one rotation is possible. So all these steps, say for example, there are so many autonomous robots are uh, on Mars, you know, buggy, they are called buggy. But then they are controlled by humans, okay, from uh, our universities. Okay. <laughs> So uh, AI, is, uh, O for AI is supervisory in nature. Then another way of learning is unsupervised learning. Okay. But now just see how unsupervising, uh, unsupervisory learning is. Okay. So uh, uh, here output need not be known. Okay. Input is known, but output is not known. Okay, so now typical example, say uh, uh, a toy, okay, a toy called dog, okay, and then there, there may be a uh, picture of a dog, there came, there may be a, a toy of a dog, and then there is a learning given by mother to a kid, okay, that this is called dog, okay, but no real dog is shown, 
but then when kid understands and easily recognizes the dog okay and then now real situation dog comes in then kid understand that this is a dog okay so unseen answers okay unseen events can be handled okay this is very important characteristics of unsupervised uh, learning so this is also used in o4 okay so that's why i have mentioned it here then there are different types of uh, unsupervised learning okay uh, um, most important valid is called clustering okay so grouping uh, grouping and then, then taking decision based on the grouped values or uh, features okay uh, so now here is one example that i what i want to purchase is a uh, um, uh, say mango okay now mango is a hapus mango which is devgad hapus or a mango is a hapus mango which is say ratnagiri hapus mango now how we differentiate okay then it may be by uh, color maybe by weight maybe by size maybe by texture maybe by smell okay maybe by size okay size of a then type of skin so there are so many such features okay now if i give say karnataka hapus to this machine then it will check those features okay and then wherever the value false comes then it will come down to a solution that this is not a ratnagiri hapus or this is not a devgad hapus so uh, this type of clustering grouping together certain features okay based on certain features okay this is called unsupervised technique okay and then a uh, lot of applications in o4 when we go for marketing when we want to give schemes in mall you know in mall we get scheme of two different products associated together that if you purchase tv then uh, maybe a dish is free or dish is 50% cost okay so then they do lot of survey that customer inclination of a customer of purchasing certain type of tv and certain type of dish okay and then they negotiate the uh, prices and then associate profits with that there are different types of clustering techniques now i will not cover this because now i have to uh come up up to the, the conclusion by by five so uh, these uh, these are very important clustering techniques okay of which uh, k means and knn they are high, heavily used in uh, ai world or uh, and then principal component analysis mechanical industry thermodynamics they, they do lot of pca chemistry they do lot of principal component analysis okay so there are lot of Uh, such techniques which can be used to automate their products it may be chemical industry it may be mechanical industry it may be electrical industry it may be electronics industry okay it may be dance it may be dance dance is the industry okay so i can apply this ai okay so i ai machine can can differentiate between say kathak and then different types of dance and steps associated with that okay but now we don't have such robot because they they are very complex movement as far as mechanical assemblies and electronics degree of rotation are concerned then one more we will cover that is reinforcement learning okay now this is where the uh, uh, our, our deep learning or o5 comes into picture okay where where answers are not directly available okay say for example in mahabharata अश्वत्थम हताति नरो वा कुंजरो ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर इट कंप्लीट आंसर आर गिवन एंड देन यू नीड टू रियलाइज व्हाट इज अ फैक्ट एसोसिएटेड एंड देन कम अप विद अ सॉल्यूशन बाय एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो देन दिस इज कॉल्ड रीएनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग ओके सो हियर मे देयर बी सम इंडिकेशंस आर गिवन ओके बट फाइनल आंसर इज नॉट गिवन ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्निक नाउ हियर uh say so many students they play game and then uh, when i was young i used to play that prince of persia okay and then killing that some fat there, there used to be some fat guy killing that fat guy was a problem okay then we realize that how uh, then i really is you know uh, somebody one of my friend he he used to skip the levels and then he usually go to level number 12 straight away there there used to be 12 levels of that game Okay. so now he he really understood how to cross a level 
so then if he if somebody knows how to cross a level then there is no point okay uh, that uh, uh, there is no point uh, doing all steps simultaneously okay or in sequence now i will apply this intelligence to a kid growing kid you know small kid which is very small baby one one year baby becomes two year baby and then it first of all it it takes lot of steps okay and then at the end uh, it stands and then the, then it walks okay so once the baby starts walking then it will not follow all those stages which has happened again and again it will just stand up and walk okay so then uh, see so it, it this thing allows us to skip certain answers okay and hence it is called reinforcement yeah so now here is our first uh, simple test of o4 okay that our problem statement is uh, automate a tea making machine okay now how i will use formula okay just see how i will create features okay now i want to create a tea so i say there is a big big hotel like taj or uh, there are so many such big hotel okay and then they are mainly a business centers okay rather than no uh, other 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 services provided to our customers or visitors mainly they are a business centers where uh, uh, two parties they hire a uh, table or they hire a room and they discuss their business okay and when they want to discuss their business then they they are served with uh, beverages tea coffee maybe something else okay so how they come there by appointment okay so now this o4 is the integrate o4 is the integration of uh, software electronics mechatronics everything you know chemistry everything comes into picture now why i have taken this example because uh, i want to prepare a tea so tea making a tea is a chemical reaction okay where heat is applied to certain material or certain liquids okay and then certain state which is mixed state is obtained so now on a website they book appointment okay of a room and now the question see the intelligence of this particular system that it will ask you what is your favorite favorable drink now we will assume it is a tea okay now now person is a diabetic person and person like sweet tree sweet uh, tea okay or person is a european person now see person so region based feature uh, in europe having a tea with a milk is considered as poison okay so europeans or outside india in europe you will not find a mix milk and you will not find they are mixing milk and a tea together okay now if they don't want to mix a milk then there is a black tea black tea there is lemon tea there are green tea so many teas are available okay now let us focus on a very instead of focusing on so many aspect let us focus a aspect of a sugar now by query we understand person is a diabetic person so now i have developed here is a agent okay so k is a outcome of this agent and f is a agent and input are so see now there are when when i want to make a t then there are deterministic elements okay i will require uh, tea patti i will require sugar i may require milk i will require water and then i will require a gasto or some methodology that uh, may be electro mechanical device okay that will handle all this robotically okay and then some so there will be th three tanks that i am assuming one tank is a sugar tank another tank is a milk tank and another tank may be a tea patti tank okay and then it now based on a philosophy that person is a diabetic person then what will happen to the coefficient say sugar is uh, sugar is y okay so what will happen to a b b will take value zero okay because person is a diabetic person somebody says no no i don't want sweet sweet tea okay but i want a normal tea so maybe one tablespoon is my quantization method okay so then this tank should get operated for one tablespoon sugar that's all okay so then now i will i will, i need to write down based on these features okay a program okay which is a agent okay i a pro instead of calling a program i'll call it as a function okay 
in programming terminology and in ai terminology it is called agent so uh, my agent will keep discussing with my clients that or and then i will remember them so next time same client comes then i remember that person is a diabetic person okay so now this is this is how i will develop my feature vector okay and then t will be served we so serving a t without asking so many question to a person which is required you know which is the flavor of that person that is where the satisfaction comes okay so when o4 is developed okay or when you want to think about o4 satisfaction of a customer that is most important criteria okay and that is developed with the help of a complete sub divided perception so perception is most important aspect of developing any o4 autonomous solution using ai yeah so now uh, perception building i think i have discussed already okay so i can skip this slide okay now, now here i have taken if you look at the last row okay so i have developed a perception for b that is 0 0.5 1 and 2 so these are my quantized values and which 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 are talking about in human sense number on uh, uh, you know how, how many sugar spoons that i should pour in so diabetic person uh, answer is 0 somebody don't want uh, sweet tea okay then 0.5 then third person says i want normal tea then a uh, normal tea is 1 and somebody says i want sweet tea then it will be two tablespoons or three tablespoons and likewise now now this is only one table which i am talking about but in a hotel like taj there may be at a time maybe 100 200 300 tables or 1000 tables are served then this is not possible by a human being a cook okay then here comes the picture of automation okay and now i will have a automated tea making machine which will take this order then it, it will apply clusters okay now what is the cluster feature bless clustering that all those having diabetes is one cluster all those who want um, uh, uh, a less sweet tea is another cluster all those who want normal tea is one more cluster and those who want sweet tea is one more cluster so i will create four clusters then machines will be allocated and those machines will what they will do now they will keep doing same task okay for example there is a machine allocated for diabetic person so sugar value is zero so that container will not switch on and pour any sugar and then it will keep on creating cups after cups of uh, diabetic tea for example second will and third and fourth based on feature vector length of feature vector those many cups of Uh, uh t will be created this is o4 okay now it will be served now if it is o5 then these will be served by uh, a robotic machine okay and robotic machines will have knowledge that who is who whose cup is diabetic person who is a diabetic person and it, that robot will serve that appropriately to that particular person without sugar this is very important development and that is what is difference between o4 and o5 okay yeah so now the second is the cognition okay so now i have already talked about it okay the diabetic person okay and uh, uh, now say for example person is a diabetic and from europe okay now person is from europe so now what i am developing is a combination of uh, developing new cluster okay what this new cluster is person is a diabetic from europe i will not pour milk also okay so uh, so this perception recognition these are very important action as far as yeah so now this is one simple uh, challenge that i would like to uh, keep with you people that see what well, the see there whenever you use any engineering then uh, limitations are inherited you know whenever there is a there may be mechanical engineer then how much should be a step let us take a stepper motor then how much should be a step angle 
so yeah, there, there is a limitation of say for example change of magnetic flux change of magnetic field and how much rotation can be obtained with that much change in field okay so there can be limitation so when we want to develop any autonomous system o4 system or o5 system then we have to work with the uh, the system embedded constraints or system embedded limitations okay now one such limitation in computer is multiplication okay now this is very simple example and for human being this will be done somewhere maybe uh, third standard or fifth standard or 10th standard student will be in position to give me these answers uh, with in polynomial time but now this answer is not possible for computer in polynomial time so that's why i have taken this as some simple case study okay so now uh, what i want i i have two certain objectives okay one of the objective is that i want to reduce if then else okay say for example if you know binary multiplication then if answer is varying in size sign then i have to take two's complement okay so uh, i think i hope you are all aware of one's complement and two's complement of a number okay uh so uh, if those who are not aware of what is ones complement okay so it is inverting the ones and zeros is ones complement and twos complement is adding one to ones complement that is twos complement okay so if i take value uh, one 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 in binary four ones okay in binary and then if i want to take twos complement then what i will do i will invert each individual digit so it will become 0 0 because i have inverted that is one's complement now if i add one to it then it will become two's complement so my two's complement of 1 1 1 1 will be 0 0 0 1 okay so i am counting all digits because now i am a machine you know i am not human being okay so whether it is so now my objective how i will optimize whether uh, i should be in a position to uh, uh, recognize whether it is signed both signs similar or both signs not similar okay then consistently i should not take two's complement and whatever i should do always same okay so that is the challenge so i think i want you people to give this challenge to you people okay and then uh, try to come up with answer so what i these slides are available with the uh, 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 college okay and then you can always find out and come up with the answer so now see i have done matrix multiplication multiplication of binary numbers say plus 9 multiply by plus 9 and i got answer but now if i apply same method to remaining apply, remaining samples then i get wrong answers so in other words i cannot solve this problem in polynomial time okay so i will not solve this is in polynomial time so now i require a agent ai agent okay which will find out based on a feature vector okay uh, and complete this answer so i want you people to read these slides okay i i, I will not explain this now i want you people to read it and then understand how innovation can be done when uh, and then each time consistent in consistent time i will get the answer so here is the key okay now here here innovation is that uh, multiplier i have taken and then i have quantized it in different way i have extended the sign bit and always appended zero and then then this is my intelligence in the corner innovative table is written okay and then 0 0 implies 0 0 1 implies 1 1 0 implies minus 1 1 1 implies 0 okay so i did i did this innovatively okay and then now instead of multiplying with a number which is given to me now i have multiplied with a converted value okay and then extended the sign bit is written in blue color okay and then if i apply this method consistently whether so irrespective of the sign whether it is positive both a uh, multiplier multiplicand positive negative okay then consistently i will get the correct answer so i will skip this for you people and i want how how ai uh, can be done this is soft soft ai only for computers okay so now uh, what uh, robotic arm example i have given no uh, it was planned to discuss this okay so i have discussed this up to some extent so i will skip these slides also okay now when that robot want to move 
and then my construction is given by C D E F. Okay, and then from uh, source is A and destination is B. So C D is a wall, D E is a wall, and E F is a wall. Now here I need to build a perception. Okay, that in which direction I should move. So now I want to reach to a B. So uh, along side of C, I can enter into B. Or I will travel C to D, D to E, E to F, and then enter to B. Okay. Now I will calculate the time required, the path, the disturbances. All these things are my important part of feature vector. Okay. And then based on this, I will build a perception, and then I will cognize. Okay. Which is the efficient path, and then robot will be instructed to. Then the data will be sequenced, uh, and then robot will be. Uh, instructed to perform those many steps associated okay so this is a typical example this is called design thinking okay without design thinking okay uh, o4 is not possible when you talk about design thinking then it is about considering all possible aspects of generating answers okay in very simple words okay actually design thinking is a uh, very big thing but in one words one word or one line i have to say then all possibilities of success and failure i have to think uh, within uh, within the uh, limitation of what is given to me to solve okay and then get those answers so this is called uh, goal planning okay so when i got all possible answers then i can always plan a goal associated with this okay so uh, now there are in uh, o4 There, there are certain important aspects, okay, associated with O4. First is quality, okay, predictive quality. So prediction word is going to come everywhere, and whenever the prediction word comes, then probability is there always, okay. So predictive quality, okay, this is very important. So we assure assurance of a quality when variation in input is given. This is very important thing, okay, and the yield, of course, the outcome. Yield is the output, okay. in predictive maintenance okay so instead of doing regular maintenance activity okay at defined time okay and switching out the switching or switching down the whole system then does this particular equipment requires maintenance or no or predicting when the maintenance will be required okay so this is one more o4 important o4 application okay where ai can be applied okay of course i said five but i have added something more to it okay then interfacing human robot collaboration okay so uh, semi autonomous okay this is very important aspect when it is autonomous human interference is avoided okay so whenever collaboration of a robot okay say for example tesla car and now you want to move that tesla car i don't know how many of you have visited pune at 6 pm then pune roads are very busy or if you go to dadar railway station okay or area of railway station at 4 5 pm to 6 pm or 8 pm and then you want to move that tesla car it is impossible okay so how you so human has to take control and how the human can take control okay that variety that will be established based on a feature vector then byod okay so this is one more important term that uh, this is bring your own device okay that is called byod so now i am a manager and then i am controlling two or three plants so whenever i change from one department to another department all those context are loaded immediately and then i am in position to take bird decisions okay so wherever i move so data moves behind me okay this is called follow me technology okay so that is what is now iot is one more buzzword okay internet of thing so things are followed wherever i go your mobile goes with you and it takes bank with you <coughs> okay so now you can do purchases directly from your bank payments okay so this is a byod and uh, and uh, it is not necessary bank doesn't give you a mobile you have your own mobile and interface is a app associated with that bank or google pay whatsapp pay okay so these are new generation techniques okay and uh, of course the this byod is o5 aspect okay and o4 uh, we have semi autonomous devices okay then 
<coughs> generative th designing okay is i think i will go through all this one slide each okay and then uh, i think my time is going to come up okay so uh, i think i have discussed this predictive quality okay adequately okay now one more term which i have not talked about okay uh, is a supervised learning so usually when prediction uh, then we we need to know all answers okay because whenever it's a prediction then we must know all possibility and when we know all possibilities and one is to be selected then it is supervised learning okay so when you want to predict quality okay and predict yield associated with quality okay then it is a supervisory learning algorithm okay uh, that can be used predictive maintenance okay so this is unsupervised activity because when machine will fail we don't know okay but now say for example i have i want to go to nasik or senanded and now i started trying to start car but there, there is no uh, ignition is not giving any start so my battery has gone down so this is understanding where is the fault okay and then generating the need of maintenance battery is getting low consistently then informing the client or the owner that you are you need to re replace battery immediately okay so such system where outcomes are first feature in battery charging o4 that when battery cell is becoming weak okay then at how much how much time of charging it takes okay so change in time of charging okay is uh, results into uh, it shows weakness of a cell and hence there is a need of maintenance and at what time this uh, uh, this will result into replacing the battery maintaining the battery okay so this will be done so since no fix one answer that can be immediately given okay then this will be uh, unsupervised machine learning technique okay so remaining useful lifetime that is very important term used in uh, industry okay it's called rul okay remaining useful uh, life okay of thing okay and uh, when you want to associate automate it with ai then it is uh, done with the help of unsupervised method then human collaboration i have already discussed okay decisions regarding your bank okay and then uh, uh, say for uh, for example now i will give you this uh, little bit example okay and there are lots of applications i have listed but i will give one more now i want to use a google pay okay or whatsapp pay but then there are no, there are no sufficient funds in my account okay now what to do so this robotic system autonomous system okay will take decision to give you a loan okay so it it your debit card debit content is converted into credit content okay today it is not possible okay i have a debit card i have a credit card okay two independent cards but now with ai introducing ai in this now my feature is debit because my balance exists now i don't have balance okay but then i have already informed system that credit up to the limit may be given okay then this is called personal loan and then credit card loan will be given and your payment will be done okay so this technique okay of associating with your own thinking your own mind your own your own strategies with different solutions from industry okay that will be byoi okay or human robotic collaboration now there are lots of applications in mechanical industry for example less wastage reduce scrap okay uh, improvement of performance okay competitive pricing okay is one more example heavy use of machine learning okay is is done okay and now next generation is deep learning okay uh, this is uh, so this is human robotic collaboration now generating design okay is very important aspect in quality maintenance okay so ai comes into picture again okay so uh, st stress strain of material heating property of a material okay cooling property of a material 
there are so many you know thermodynamics properties of material so building perception and then selecting one and then finding out whether it is close to my precise answer okay and then taking certain decisions okay so that that will be a generative design okay now i can before implementing i can test okay i before implementation of any mechanical assembly i can test it first test say for example currently uh, physical cars are used for crash testing okay physical cars are used and they are run at certain speed and they are crashed with a wall of certain thickness and certain properties and then that crash uh, crash is done at various places you know body crash at the periphery body crash at the center cent uh, you know center heat okay so different types of hits hit means hitting on a surface okay now those are considered and then different ergonomic properties mechanical properties uh, stress strain all these aspects are covered but now uh, there is lot of investment in crashing a car okay but then all these properties all these features can be simulated and then car crash scenario can be created with the help of ai okay so this is and then it, it of course uh, help you in generating a safe solution okay so safe solution okay improvement in material quality uh, so we, when a crash occurs then we can understand say for example certain thickness may be required okay or certain thickness may be reduced okay uh, so the, all this thinking can be thought of okay with the help of ai so uh, with the help of machine learning ai is machine learning machine learning is creation of data sets okay and then applying those data set with the ai solution that is what is called machine learning but then it is distinct distinctly known okay if new solution comes then it is not part of machine learning it it will go to deep learning yeah so uh, this is this is uh, generative design and last one is market adaptation and supply chain management this is most important nowadays we see this is implemented in malls okay by different giving different offers okay customer retention okay customer retention is very important okay so study of inflow outflow statements is one of the important part okay so that this statement of inflow outflow tells us that which object which item is sold okay in maximum so can we increase that sale by giving certain offers okay so various provisions so we can think of provisions we can consider survey of new markets we can think of futures okay so all these deliverables can be generated with the help of uh, implementation of o4 and marketing industry okay and uh, with short term and long long term liabilities they are already Uh, uh, thought of so we can always simulate that if i don't do this then what will be the profit stress on profit you know stress on business stress on profit okay so all these thing can be thought of with the help of ai solutions yeah so this is uh, this is i think last slide of mine so i will just take one or two more minutes and then we i will call up for so these are challenges okay now there are very major challenges when you want to implement o4 o5 solutions okay reason now i will ask you simple question that within how many days cost of your mobile decreases to 500 rupees okay that is where the key of implementing the o4 or o5 how much it is affordable to you to update yourself with technology which is software technology you know hardware mechanical industry Uh, uh designing a gear for example so how much time it took for that technology to make changes okay and how much time it is taking for software to make changes okay so we are changing from assembly language to c programming c programming to c++ programming c programming to java java to python and there are n such languages okay and then they are used some lang languages are becoming obsolete some hardware microprocessors Like eight zero eight six, three eight six, two eight six, four eight six, I five U, I four. That is unending change. Okay, and then if you don't change in your O four solution or I four solution or I five solution, then you are there will be pro problem with your profit straight away. You are a problem in competition. Okay, so this is major hurdle that I see implementing AI based solution. Okay, in O four and O five.
yeah i think i have uh, concluded with this so any doubts any questions if you want to ask sorry i exceeded by 10 minutes uh, exceeded by 10 minutes okay so sorry for no it's okay it's okay yeah. sir are there any doubts here participants yeah so this is ai and ml uh its role in ind uh, industry 04 very wonderfully explained uh, what an intellectual treat sir it was indeed an intellectual treat for us all we were very fortunate to have you on board today great lessons by a great teacher and i'm sure especially the people from computer and uh, it background must have been uh, uh, the happiest uh, amongst all uh, you have given an in-depth view of artificial intelligence and machine learning okay. professor maske you raise your hand if you have any question please ask sir uh, actually myself umesh urale so uh, we are uh, attending the lecture from common uh, pc so i just uh, want to ask one question uh, so i am audible yeah. yeah you are audible sir yes uh, uh, sir thank you sir thank you very much sir for giving a uh, uh, vision to, uh, to the new technology that is artificial intelligence and machine learning so so there is my one doubt sir so recently i heard a news about the uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, no. from the tesla owner elon musk so no. he said that as we are going to implement ai and machine learning uh, no. it is going to increase the <clears throat> unemployment and therefore the all the big nations uh should think about some fund and they must uh, collect some fund uh, providing to this unemployed youth this is the first mm. part and mm. second part i is it true or not uh, this is first part i want to ask and yeah. second thing i want to ask that uh, in your uh, lecture sir you said that uh, uh, predictive quality and yield so i just want to ask you that so, uh, in the last decade so what the most of the engineers and research was that was on the optimization of the things yeah. like uh, optimization of the vehicle weight or mass or material or something like that mm -hmm. uh, so after finishing this optimization where the this uh, yielding point will occur related all the things okay yeah so uh, i hope that you have finished yes sir yes sir yeah okay so now question is regarding employability okay see industry keeps on changing and the roles are keep on changing okay this is very important aspect so uh, if you look at today's automation that automation is replacing certain jobs okay but then those jobs uh, persons can be skilled to handle the machines okay this is one important thing now even if that um, uh, mr mers uh, and tesla they are saying that it is going to make lot of unemployment but when we when those cars will come into picture okay then new avenues of uh, job opportunities will also come okay now i will give you a simple example in pune uh, or in in nanded also or anywhere okay getting a auto rickshaw okay uh, then i have to travel to a road and then stand somewhere okay and then keep my hand uh, floating so that rickshaw wala will understand that i want a, uh, i want to I want to hire a rickshaw okay or i need to travel to a rickshaw stand okay and then i i need to negotiate with those person that where i want to travel okay now if i am at location which is unknown to me okay then where is rickshaw stand i don't know so it will be time consuming but now with ola rickshaw okay what has happened the amount of time that i am going to spend 
has reduced drastically. Developing that Ola app, given opportunity to the skill jobs, okay, and then uh, some jobs which will be you know working at whenever I will generate a request, handling that request, okay, and then identifying as uh, associating uh, links between a rickshawala and me, okay. So it has generated so many job opportunities also. Whenever there is a loss of job, okay, system never goes to dead end. It always generates new generation jobs and job opportunities. It is question of learning and getting skilled. Okay, so uh, even though uh, there there will be initially there will be uh, feeling that there is a loss of job, but then there will be uh, opportunities also created. This is my answer as far as unemployment is concerned. And second, second part. Uh, I, I hope that any any doubts you want to put up. No, sir. Clear, sir. Clear. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So whenever there is a uh, for say for example, I will give another example. Say for example, I want to purchase a suite or uh, Amazon. Okay. Now say for example, uh, what is your background, sir? Which engineering you are? Mechanical sir. engineering. Mechanical. Yeah, mechanical engineering. Okay. So now, say for example, uh, I I want a gear, uh, something in my uh, water water motor. Okay, which will lift that water up. Okay. Now I don't know where that material is available. Okay. But now if I describe it today using some Amazon Alexa, okay, then Amazon Alexa will help me to identify that part. Okay. and i can see that part on amazon website and i can understand cost i can understand different comparative prices and different quality okay now i am order so the amount of time spent for me per, to purchase that object has reduced drastically so that means the inflow outflow okay the product uh, product start and product yield has increased you know now there is more demand in the market okay say for example food market okay so there there is that swiggy and all those persons you know, companies so now i am traveling from destination a to destination 12 kilometers away okay it is going to do lot of expenditure of petrol travel and then i will find that there is a big rush so i will wait but using this swiggy or this type of uh, devices they created job opportunities of uh, uh, taking that food item to to me okay this is new type of job have you understood okay and then since there is demand is increasing okay say uh, let us take say i am uh, i am purchasing say uh, some item say batata vada or vada pav okay now since i am online and now my orders are coming across the different locations now i have to produce maximum because i guarantee what is pizza uh, 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 some pizza company has given within half an hour or within time if it doesn't reach to you then that pizza is free to you have you understood so this is the constraint of yield okay so i have to increase my yield i have to by maintaining the quality i have to increase my yield so i have so that my profit will increase okay so maximum number of uh, items i will sell my profit will increase and now when my profit will increase so there is more demand to me more demand to me means more jobs i have to see okay those more uh, persons person who will deliver the food okay so um, i have to maintain quality without quality nothing happens okay as i if i degrade quality then very soon it goes to zero so with the with maintaining the quality you know i have to improve the yield okay this is very important and uh, and hence it gives generation to new types of jobs i uh, have yeah. answered your query yes sir yes yes sir yes. thank you very much yeah, yeah uh, yes with this uh, uh, we have reached uh, we have almost reached the end of this beautiful session we were indeed Uh, very very lucky to have such a distinguished professor uh, for this fdp we would also be listening to honorable dr sarang joshi sir 
on the la final day that is on 26th uh, he would be delivering his uh, uh, first session on that day uh, uh, and the title of the of that session is uh, smart uh, industry inception conception and perception so we have learned uh, as teachers also many of our young teachers on board have learned uh, how a great teacher could be so uh, on behalf of the organizing committee uh, i as a program coordinator uh, express my sincere gratitude sir to you towards you and uh, all the best from uh, from all of us and uh, with the permission of uh, our uh, uh, resource person may i declare that yeah, yeah. our today's session is over thank you very much sir thank you thank, thank you, you all participants yeah, yeah thank you for participating yeah thank you thank you i would request the participants to leave and kindly fill up the google form of attendance and at 6 o'clock dear participants at 6 o'clock we shall be uh, floating uh, we are we shall be floating a google form of uh, the random test of the first day one which would comprise of mcqs honorable sarang doshi sir and uh, our today's first speaker they have contributed some mcq type questions you have to score minimum 60% uh, in that so thank you everyone thank you professor uh, doshi sir thank you thank you okay thank you thank you thank you uh, i would request our coordinator co coordinator to end the session please Yes sir thank you very much thank you very much thank you sir thank you saudhari sir thank you sir